Hello friends, my name is Arshna and welcome to my channel Circuit Globe. Today in this video, I will explain you about the electric field. So friends, let's get started. First of all, understand what is electric field. Friend, the electric field is the reason around the charged particle within which the other charge experience the force of attraction or repulsion. Okay, consider that we have two unit positive charge. So when these two charges place nearer to each other, then the force of repulsion occur between them. Similarly, suppose we have two dissimilar charges. Okay, so when these two charges place nearer to each other, then the force of attraction occur between them. Now, how these force of repulsion or the force of attraction occur between the charges? This happen because of the electric field. Some kind of force are present around the charge. And if you are placing any other charge in that field, so that charge experience the force of attraction or repulsion. So the force that induces because of the magnitude of the unit charge, that force is called the electric field. The electric field is represented by the imaginary line and it is represented by the symbol capital E. As you all know that electric field apply the force on the charged particle and hence because of this reason the unit of the electric field is Newton per coulomb which is equal to the volt per meter. Okay. Now let's talk about the direction. Here you can see that this is the positive charge particle and this is the negative charge particle. Okay, the field of the positive charge particle are going in the outward direction while the field of the negative charge particle move in the inward direction. Why this happen? Why the direction of field are different for positive and negative charges? This happen because as you all know that the positive charge always ripple the test charges while the negative charge always attract the ripple charges and hence because of this reason the electric field are going outward direction in case of positive charge and it is moving in the inward direction in case of the negative charge particle. Consider that we have a unit charge particle which is placed in the vacuum okay and one more charge particle is placed near to that charge okay the, because of this charge one electric field induces around the region the magnitude of that field is calculated by the help of this expression here qr represent the distance between the two charges and q is shows the magnitude of charge present in the unit charge okay now what happened when we are placing this unit charge in the in the field of the of the charge so that charge experience the force of attraction or repulsion okay so the force that induces in this charge particle it is calculated by this expression here also the, these are the magnitude of the charges r is the distance between the charges and this term is the constant term so these are the two formula which we are using for calculating the electric field around the charge and the force that acting on the charge the electric field is classified into two types. The first one is the uniform electric field and the second one is the non-uniform electric field. The uniform electric field is represented by the parallel line and these lines are equally displaced from each other. When we are placing the charged particle in a uniform electric field and if we are varying the position of that charged particle, so in every position the particle experiences the same force. But in case of non-uniform electric field, here you can see the lines are, are unequally displaced from each other and also they are not parallel to each other. So if we are placing charged particle in non-uniform electric field, then they are experiencing the force of different magnitude. Suppose if we are placing our charged particle here, so here you can see the strength of field is very less because the lines are apart from each other. But if we are placing our charged particle near this place, here you can see the magnetic field is very high. So this charged particle experiences the high magnitude force. So this is the non-uniform electric field and this is the uniform electric field. The electric field are represented by the electric field lines and that electric field line has some properties. So let's understand what are the properties of the electric field line. 
the first property is that the field line never intersect each other okay these line never intersect each other when the lines are close together that means the strength of the field is high and if these line are move apart from each other that means these uh, the strength of the field is low the field line is directly proportional to the magnitude of the charge if the charges has high magnitude that means more number of line are present between these two charges and for small magnitude of charge less field are present the fourth property of electric field line is that the field line always start from the positive charge and its end on the negative charge the fifth property is that the line are continuous enough charge free region if there are no charge present near this region then then these line are continuous so this is all for today friends i hope you like my video for detailed study about the topic you may refer my official website which is the circuitglobe.com there you can see i explain the topic in detail along with the type and the properties of the electric field uh, this link of the website is mentioned below in the description so you may refer that link for study about the topic okay friends for getting more technical video like this don't forget to like comment share and subscribe my channel